Hey guys, Super Epic Scorps here. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. In the last episode, we took down the boss of Vim Factory. Swiggler, I almost was gonna say Shroomler or something like that, but that doesn't sound right. Swiggler. Alright, and a lot of you guys actually told me that, um... Or some of you guys told me that Swiggler actually does have only 200 HP. Which means that all the places I checked... They all said he had 250, that means they're all wrong. Which is really weird. About time you boys showed! Ran into, oh, eh, ran into some persnickety obstacles, did you? So now the whole story comes out. I am in deep shame. I am deep in a shame cycle. Kind of like a rinse cycle. Professor, we nearly had a pair of fragments, but that young Bowser fellow made off with them both. Ooh, ooh, yabba yabba. Ooh, ooh, yabba yabba. Not now now. No need to get your leather lathered. There have been new time holes popping up here faster than toast on a Sunday morning. And I'll tell you, one of them is giving off tremendous cobalt shard energy readings. I've no doubt that that's the time hole you want. Yep, that's where Bowser, Baby Bowser made his escape. Mario Luigi, we, mu we must haste in chase. We must have redemptitude. Another word made up by Stuffwell. Courtesy of Stuffwell. Look now before you rush off. I think it'd be wise to survey the rest of the castle. And another thing, there's a noisy fellow from the past running about with a baby. He and Toads were in the garden. Can you make sure there's no hoopla out there? Hoopla! 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 Throw a rock. He's dead! Okay, I hope someone got that reference. Otherwise, if someone didn't, I feel really stupid. <laughs> Alright! So we are supposed to go to the garden area where we first came into Holly Jolly Village. And then we hear the infinite, infamous baby peach crying. Look lively now, other me. We must please the princess. Put your back into it, man. I, I'm absolutely spent. Put yourself together, man. Smile. I say smile. That's not smiling, Toadsworth. The older. Toadsworth the younger. The princess, she won't, she won't stop crying. Tut, tut. Worry not, elder me. We've not yet begun to amuse. Arms out now. One, go! Toes for a twist! I just spit a lot over my screen by, doing, by saying toes for a twist. Good, jolly good, elder me. Our charge is giggling. Even though you can't hear it, because she doesn't have any audio effects for giggling. Because Nintendo's lazy for doing that. Still couldn't understand that. Oh, Masters Mario and Luigi, grow right up, haven't you? I'm quite up to speed up to our crisis, but a sticky wicket. The adult Princess Peach, the kingdom, you must save it all. And I shall be right here as you do, rooting for victory. What's that you say, old bean? You wish to learn our move. Completely illegible... Uh, not illegible, because that's for handwriting, but completely... Un Ununderstandable talking. Well, if you if it will help you fulfill your duties, of course, it would be an honor and a privilege. Come, practice awaits. Chin up, elder me. Mustn't falter now. All right, so now we are going to be getting a new move. We've taken to calling this technique a spin jump, or the Toadsworth twist, as they like to call it for them too. But you'll soon see precisely why Master Luigi begins the move. So it's just pressing R, and it'll switch to the secondary use, kind of like we did with the hammers, but we'll be able to jump up on top of Mario's head. Alright, so, then you just press B again, and move on the control pad, or, yeah, control pad, and then you'll be able to move around. So press that, we get a B, with a little spinny motion, and now we can just glide safely across. Now, this is very useful for getting across some pits, but it's only pits meant in the game. Not for, like, pits that you're not, you shouldn't be allowed to get across or anything like that, because that'd be kind of stupid. Alright, yes, yes, jolly good show. I trust you'll use it in advantage in the field as well. I should think this spin jump will give you access to some hard... Awfully hard to reach areas. Now, time to be officers. Utilize the new time hole. Rescue our princess. 
Alright, so that is all we get for this time with the Toadsworth duo. Um, so actually now we are going to be exploring the upstairs. Now, if you'd like to, the shop that's on the lower floor here is going to be selling a couple more items. Just some of them aren't gonna- I don't need them now, because obviously, you don't- I never really visit that shop, it's more like, if there are shops in-game while you're going around the game, I'll go and stop at them, but otherwise, it seems kinda pointless. So, heading up these stairs, we are going to be heading to the second floor. Now, the time hole we are supposed to go to is going to be right over to our right. So, let's head right on over. Sorry if we're getting a little bit of lag here, guys. Whenever I save, it seems I want to go do that. Alright, this area, you cannot have the bro the little bros on your back, by the way, when you're doing this. Otherwise, you can't, obviously, like, do, like, a complete awesome jump sort of a thing. That'd be pretty cool, though. Alright, I don't know why I just did that again. Now, uh, something I'd like to mention is if you go into a time hole without your little bros, I'm pretty sure they'll come popping up right behind you, which I think there's going to be a demonstration of this. In here, I don't exactly know how they're gonna get to you, but it, I've never been able to understand that. So, so now by pressing that, we're not gonna be able to head back. Yep. So we gotta go through that all again. Oh, joyous me! All right, actually, I took you guys' advice. If you don't follow my Twitter, you should. But uh, I actually tweeted out on Twitter the other day that I did go and get New Super Mario Bros. 2. And so far, I'm only on World 2. I only got it yesterday. This should be going up. Literally the day that I record it, because I'm a little bit behind on recordings, but this should be going up the day that I record it. And I'm only on World 2 right now, and I've been a little bit busy with a bunch of other stuff. Versus, I've been editing a little bit. Not much. This, I've been editing, yada yada yada, all the typical stuff on my channel. I'm trying to figure out if I should be doing more stuff for you guys. Alright, now we're heading to Yoshi's Island. This is why I love this game so much. I know a lot of people don't go and listen to the music in games, and that, that might just be a nerd thing, just go and listen to music in games, just appreciate the actual music for games. But this music is freaking awesome! Yes, I said that, it's freaking awesome. Alright guys, here in Yoshi's Island, uh, we let's read a sign. Welcome to Yoshi's Island. See our enormous big egg now open for viewing. Alright, so, let's look over here at the egg. It should be right around here if we can even find it. It ran away from us. Oh no, it grew legs! I might have just spoiled something, but I'm not going to try to say anything anymore. Oh no, the egg is broken. What happened? Very large, very creepy egg. Viewing feet, five coins. Okay, so we can't, like, just view it like right here. I guess they are pretty strict around here in Yoshi's Island. If I'm correct, yes, this is the right room we're supposed to go into, and we're gonna be ne meeting a new character that'll be with us till about the end of the game. Oh, what a lemon! And this film ain't cheap, neither! I was primed for a scoop, and all I get are whiskers and a couple of babe sap babies. Sap babies? Like we're trees or something. Huh? Me? 720 Spin, Kylie Koopa, Ace Reporter, the Koopa Chronicles best. You know, about the giant egg? Yeah, well, it just appeared. And this dame's got a hunch it's connected to the shrooms. I thought I'd get to this, I'd get the straight dope from the locals, but this place is more, is more like a morgue. Where is everybody? And speaking of fishy, this jump platform positively reeks of mystery. Reeks of it! But I hopped up there and... It didn't do doodly squat. I wonder if I'm too heavy for it. Say, do me a fever and fever, favor and hop up there, will ya? Baby, baby, is going to it. You're our slaves. We won't pay you money. All right, so we hop back up on that ritzy work. Like the crackers. <laughs> See anything? Shh! Don't make noise. What's the word? Earthquake! No, we must flee! I like how they're in parentheses. It's, it's like they're not even talking. It's more like they're just like speaking to them through their minds. Oh, this reporter just got that front page fever. 
And now he's spinning himself right round, right round, <laughs> like a record, baby, right. Okay. Before I get any copyright, uh, all I saw there was like what looked like as though goldfish. A lot of them. Another a lot of goldfish. What a scoop! It's huge! Get it? A huge... It's a huge scoop! Okay. <laughs> Exclusive! Stop the presses! Aw, oh, raspberries! My scoop snacked me! Yick! It's all so ooky and gooky! I like how it doesn't even, like, care to just try to get out of there and run. And this guy, you release them. He's like, "Do, do, I'm freaking failed. Don't mess with the gigantic purple or pink. Wow, color blind much? Pink and green monster with a gigantic tongue. Coming through." I like how they slow down too as it slowly walks away. And the music stops too, so. No more joyful, cool music. Huff! Huff! I haven't been this jazzed in a blog's age! I can see the headline now! Monster Yube from Shroob on Ravenous Rampage! Tops! Why, I saw an evil-looking magic Koopa head into that building just now, but... Gotta concentrate on the story. This could be my big break. And now the happy music returns. So, um, let's check the time here. 12 minutes about. Alright, so I guess we can do one last cutscene. Ah, oh, failed to jump. I guess I have to actually use the bros here and use their new technique. The twist jump or whatever it was called. I don't remember. It's because I don't really utilize it that much besides the actual area. So... All right. What building? I think it, she was talking about this building. Yes, right here, because this was blocked down before, so. It's Kamek again. Snacks. Must find snacks. Score! It doesn't look like anyone's home, so I'll just help myself to the goods. You gotta wonder why this place is so empty, though. Whoa! You hairy jerks again! Chase me all the way to the stupid island, have you? Huzzah! You want the Cobalt Star Shards back? Hey, I've got my own problems. I'm on a snack run for the Prince Bowser. He's on the cliff top. I don't have any time for you guys. These snacks ain't gonna snack on themselves. Alright, so apparently Magic Cooper or Kamek, whichever one, I think it's Kamek. Actually, I uh, guarantee it's Kamek. Didn't take the crumbs, sad face. Forever alone. Whoa. Oopsies. Forever alone, so if you uh, shoot our little bros up here, there are some miscellaneous items. I think it's coins. Oh, smash eggs! Those will actually be pretty good for in the near future when I actually start using them against the boss here that we're going to be meeting. Actually, we've met the boss, we just haven't battled yet. YAK! Hey, what's your beef, pal? I'm not tasty enough for you. I'm Prime Koopa, you snob. Lol. <laughs> You're lucky I'm in a rush. I gotta get these snacks to the prince pronto, or I would whip you at Suni Pink Tail of yours. Actually, you couldn't probably even get out into the water there, Kamek, because you'd probably drown very quickly. Hey, a bean here. I didn't even notice this. It's, like, concealed by the foot. A lot of the beans in this game are gonna be pretty well hidden, which is something that I've noticed... I played through this game like six different times, and I've noticed that beans are so well hidden in this game. All right, so if we go through here, we're gonna have a cutscene. Oh no, we're not gonna have a cutscene. We're just gonna have a save point. And then next episode, guys, we are going to be hopefully trying to catch up to Prince Bowser. Maybe I don't think so because he's actually pretty high up the mountain. But we're gonna see if we can get up to Kamek and continue. So see you guys next time. Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe. I've been Super Paper Scorps. 
don't forget to uh, subscribe. Seriously, guys, subscribing really, really helps. And lately, I've been told that I'm one of like the best LP LP LPers LPers out there. So that makes me feel good. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so this has been me, Super Paper Scorps, and I'll see you guys next time for some more. Let's play Mario and Luigi Partners in Time. I'm sorry for all the dialogue this episode, guys. Again, sorry. Goodbye.